All right, guys, so in this video, we're going to show you how we stamp and broom finish this pad. We're going to try something we've never tried before, is use the roller stamp on that little curve pot to the left, but broom finish everything else. And we weren't quite sure how we was going to attack this. See, they had like a, like a paver walkway to that door before. So we just wanted to kind of mimic that part uh, as far as the walkway to the doorway to be a little bit different than the approach to the garage door where they'll be driving golf carts over it. So as the concrete starts setting up here and we start finishing, we're trying to figure out, okay, how are we going to run that roller over this section and where it's going to be curved but keep the nice broom finish on the other section. So ultimately... What we ended up deciding that you'll see here shortly, because these are always tricky. Ones with this much slope, these different angles, they're always trickier to finish, especially with a slope like this. And you get trees you're dealing with on one side. Uh, the other side on, on the left is a lot narrower than the side on the right. But you'll see how we're going to attack this here right in a second. Is there any way we can get in there to open those other doors? Yeah, that'll help. We may not have to get it on it at all. Oh, thank you. You want me to open these big doors too? Yeah, we'll have to. We'll take our shoes off, and we can yeah. see how that edge is kind of rough. Yeah. We gotta be able to mag it by you, hand. You want to do it yourself, or you want me to open them? Oh, you could just crack it open for okay. now. Thank you. Yeah. That's all right. Okay, you got that? Yeah. Thank you. I'll go back this other way. <laughs> There's going to be one little spot under that pressure wash that's going to be tough to get, ain't it? We need... Need to be able to put a mag on a handle the other way. So if they hit a ball in it, just tap it in. We will, yeah. We just leave it there. And just don't it over there. <laughs> I think we ought to go get a bucket of them and just... just throw them in there. Traction. Now's the time to do it. We'll mag them in. Yeah. Yeah, they'll be there. These guys make one of those that to go the other way. Back and forth this way. Oh, really? Probably should just get one, huh? But... That'd still be a tricky spot right there. Yeah, I mean, she feels real soft right here. Still got a minute, I think.
them 916. Now I got it. You need another one? Yeah, I just need to tighten this up. Oh, oh yeah. You get it at the right angle, yep. The other secretary up at the middle school. Oh, really? You can't, huh? I think we tried pulling that broom over the whole thing, see what it does. Then, as soon as we get that edge done, run that roller up it. You want to just kind of guesstimate where the thing's going to go? No, I think we just try it. See what happens. If it rolls too many rocks, we'll have to stop and then come up with another plan. But should I wet the broom down first? No, I think the concrete's pretty wet. I mean, pretty soft. I don't, I don't think so. You want to be the puller? I don't care. Do you want to do it? You want to follow that curve? Yeah, we're just gonna kind of wrap it. The tree gonna be in the way a little bit, but if you can pull it uphill. Might be easier to get your angles right. Maybe. Maybe. See what happens. We have to just mag it back out. That ain't bad if it stays like that, huh? No. We're driving a car. Like, you know, Darren's going to have to come back this way, right? A little bit? Yeah, just, just pull it straight this time. What do you mean by straight? Three quarters of that room over. So we don't have that curve. So we're now we're doing this. Oh. Yeah, so you're going to have to set over yet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I like it. Hopefully it stays all like that. We'll be good. I'll go get a little tiny broom to touch up this edge. We're gonna roll it, right? I know, but it's it's uh creating a little divot right there. Non-skid finish is what we're doing here today. Non-skid for the golf carts. Quite a steep slope. I don't know what the slope is there. It's pretty steep though.
I wouldn't be too worried about from the door. Because we're going to stamp it anyway, but he can he could pick it up and just set it down on the other side of that pipe and pull it, and then we can do the rest by hand. You know, that things are kind of in the way though, huh? Oh, we can, I don't know if we could do it this way, maybe. You can take a handle off. Take a handle off, yeah, then try to just reach out about to the, the hose and do it. You ready? You're gonna get on this side, I think, okay. and help put pressure up Go on ahead. it. And he'll just you want you want to push it and pull it, Luke? Uh, Darren, you want Luke to? No, I can. Okay. Before we get it all the way to the door, I'm just going to tamp it with that little other one real quick. I'm going to have to move that camera too when we get ready. Get yep. Where you want it. Yep. You're going to end up coming way out. Yep. Almost to here. So he's going to stay on the floor, right? I'm just going to. Tell me where I'm going to get it. It's that kind of thing. Yep. Not, not, not too much. Bring it back this way. Yeah. Got any more? Got a little more? Got a little more? Yeah. Oh. You wanna come back? Right? Yep, yeah, I think so. Back once and Oh, we're good. Outside egg isn't getting much. It's all right. That's all right. Okay. I wouldn't worry about it. You guys try to tell me, Lou. Uh, try to keep these in there. Are so you going to go out? Come in. That way. We can cut in the rest by hand. Right here on the grass. Right. That looks alright. Yeah. Nice little paver walkway. Just gonna reach out and cut that outside line in up there and Well, they had some pavers there where that walkway was we just rolled before and they wanted to leave those pavers but they were a mess they were falling over they really need to be pulled up and redone so we just suggested just rip them up we'll just pull a concrete there and we'll try this roller Astro slate roller stamp we got and then we'll come back we'll teak wash that to color it but that's why we tried that right there a couple handles here if you guys want to need a handle That one, I don't know if that extends or not. The handle down, you're good. I think I can get up. Okay. We just, we just need to, uh, there's some joints in it.
pretty good. Rolling over it really helps too. Yeah, I am going to need the handle because they're going to be able to reach out. You want this one? I'll give you this one for a minute. How we doing? Almost done. Who's winning? <laughs> got to be me. Don't ask these guys, brother. They've got to be <laughs> Yeah, I got a three on that. Gonna do 18? Yeah. You play golf? Yeah, I haven't in a little while, but yeah. So you did? You're gonna do the same nine over? Yeah. Is that what you do? Do you like this one better than the others? Yeah. Is it what, a little flatter or what? It's a lot easier. It is. <laughs> not at all. No, we're not really. No, that's too easy. <laughs> really not. Have fun. Take it easy on him. So sorry. Oh shit, really? Oh no, it's right here. You gonna you gonna get in the building for a minute, Luke? Cause it looks like that one joint could be rolled a little better from in the building, or I don't know, maybe you can get it that way. Yeah. I don't know, it I came out pretty good. By doing a curve. I'd hate to do the whole thing that way. <laughs> I don't think you could, it would, it would run. If we were to pre-roll this with our roller, yeah. got it. I then think we, it would have been maybe you're right before yeah to kind of flatten the broom marks a little bit yeah, yeah you're right should have done that it definitely looks good like that finish everything looks good I'll come back up tomorrow pull these forms off they can grade it they'll be ready to go All right, so this is a sneak look inside the concrete underground where I have multiple trainings, multiple different categories on how I teach you how to pour and finish concrete, how to repair concrete, how to do epoxy coatings. There's just multiple different trainings where I go in depth and teach you how to do all this stuff. <laughs>